Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Zoe, I do a lot of beauty on this channel with a few vlogs chucked in. Please excuse today's lighting, I know there's like a massive shadow here. Um, it's so dark outside that I've had to put a light on and it's only what, like 11 something? Um, 11.30, so... <laughs> Today's video is actually my what I got for Christmas, which I said about posting um, in one of my vlogs, I think. Um, that's what we're going to do. I am in my pyjamas. They are festive. They've got trees on the bottoms, got a red top, and I've got my dressing gown on because it's so cold in here, but also it matches the festive vibes. So, I'm in front of the tree before I have to take it down. <laughs> so, this year, me and Darren... Me and Darren spent the morning together on Christmas morning. Went over to my mum's for like a roast dinner and chilled over there. And then we came back in the evening. We had some more food. <laughs> we ordered a pizza because there's a pizza place that we like near us that's open. And then we watched The Hangover because we were done with Christmas at that point. Um, so <laughs> that was how my Christmas went. But we got presents from, well, me and Darren exchanged presents in the morning. Me and mum mum had bought darren and me presents and then i also had a secret santa this year from work um so i'm going to show you all the things currently everything is under the tree not that you can see that but they're under the tree um <laughs> also please excuse my hair i've just sort of chucked it up and put a bow in it um this is pretty much how i have my hair for christmas day um but yeah i'm gonna we're just gonna get everything out and then start okay so for secret santa this year at work we did a 15 pound budget and i don't know like i mean it's secret santa i don't know who got me and i can't i couldn't figure out for the life of me who got me either from the handwriting on the card um but they actually got me a couple of bits from ted baker um there's this perfume like a body spray and then there's also like this miniatures set it's not my favorite smell in the whole world it's the violet and bergamot scent um but you know what, it's actually not too, like it's it's a floral scent, right? And I'm not the biggest floral scent gal, but they do, it does smell really nice. Look at the freaking fancy ass box that this comes in, it's so cute. But it does smell nice, and it does, it reminds me of my mum, because I think my mum used to use this one. But it's actually quite a nice scent. Um, when I opened it, I was like, oh, I'm not too sure, because it's, a floral but actually smells really nice so then this this little set has the same spray in it it also has a body wash a body souffle which i guess is like a body moisturizer and actually a bubble bath as well which is quite cute i like this set it's quite cute um so that's what i got from my secret santa um my mum like i said got us stuff for our, for, for the both of me and Dar for both me and darren and then she also got me um bits for just me so one of the bits that she got both me and Darren she got us our own ones of course and with these Hufflepuff socks of course we're both Hufflepuffs we love Harry Potter um so yeah she got us some Hufflepuff socks so Darren also does have a pair um she also got us this she was like I did really random gifts for you two because I wasn't sure what to get you guys and when she asked me like a couple of weeks ago what do you guys want I, I just said we don't want anything so I'm very, very, very thankful to my mum for buying us these bits. But she also got us this beer and pizza tool. It's like a beer opener, or a can opener, and a pizza cutter. We do have a pizza cutter. Um, I'm going to be intrigued on how this cuts pizza, like how well it cuts pizza. Um, but it's always handy to have another bottle opener, like can opener. We do have one, like a bottle opener. But it's a weird one. It's like, I don't know, I can't, I can't figure it out. Um, so hopefully that one will be slightly easier. Not that I have bottles very often. Darren eat, has, Darren eats. Darren has, um, like, the, his favourite cider is bottles. But he doesn't really have that very often. And I don't really drink, so. <laughs> Occasionally, but I haven't drunk since I've been on my medication. Because I'm technically not allowed to be drinking. Um, apparently one is going to feel like ten, so um there is that oh, like in my eye um something else that was for both of us she got us oh she got us a chocolate orange which i think is in the fridge and she got each of us some chocolate coins which are also in the fridge um but she then got us these she loads we like percy pigs um we got merry percymus 
pursy like little pigs they're very cute they've got little santa hats on um i haven't actually been into mns for a while so of course i didn't know that these existed well i knew they did halloween ones i think i remember them doing christmas ones last year but i just um, and she also got us these, which I will not be eating because I don't really like the look of them. Um, Percy Pig Jam Sandwich Creams. They are pink, apparently Percy Pig Flavor Pink Shortcake Biscuits with Raspberry Jam, jam and Cream. Not my thing. So Darren can steal those from me. Um, something mum got me just for me. I think Darren's bits are over at his desk somewhere. Um, but I don't know. Oh, he got like Bailey's, like a little Bailey set and stuff. Which is quite cute. I don't drink Bailey's. I think it's disgusting. Um, but mum got me this um, hot chocolate bomb. You just put it into warm milk. And it's filled with marshmallows. It's from this brand Velvet Rich. Very cute. Um, she also got me these like little bath bombs. Which I probably will end up giving some to Darren. <laughs> these little sleigh bell snowman bath fizzes. Look how cute this is. It's like a little snowman. But it's bath bombs. Um, bath fizzes sorry. Um, another random thing that my mum got me, um, you know how on your clothes and stuff you get them little bobbles from when you wear your clothes? Um, my mum has something called a deep bobbler and you basically just use it and it go you go over um, the bobbles and it takes them off, it pretty much just cuts them off. I said that I said I've been saying for months I need to get myself one because I've got bobbles inside my leggings and stuff and it annoys me because I'll sit there and put my hand inside the leggings and pick it off while I'm wearing them. Um so she actually did get me one. This the bobble off one. Um but yeah, literally it's just to take off the bobbles and she also got me some batteries to go with it because I mean you always need batteries. Why can I hear beeping? Don't know. My package has already come this morning, so <laughs> um, and the last thing I think this is the last thing my mum got us unless there's like other chocolates or something that I've forgotten but um, the last thing she got us which is actually really heavy is this I can't pronounce the brand Free Frexenent something it's this Prosecco and Italian Rosé wine set with two flutes god it's like backless um, it's actually really heavy um yeah, it's extra dry. So it's the Prosecco extra dry sparkling wine and then the sparkling rosé um, sparkling wine. Um, Darren doesn't like wine or Prosecco. Um, so I am claiming these. <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't know if I like, I know, I know I don't like white or red wine. Maybe I'll like rosé, who knows. I do like Prosecco. I had it at our works Christmas thing like two years ago. Um, and I actually, like they gave it out as you walk through the door. So I mean... I, I like I know I like it but also a couple of cute little little flutes which we actually don't have any flutes little flute glasses or like fancy like glasses like this so thank you very much to my mum <laughs> that's that's one thing is thank you very much to my mum one more thing I forgot it's literally sitting in front of me for my mum I literally went on about this the other day and I don't know how, my mum literally just remembers everything. Um, these are like some like tongs for cooking um, because I've been doing, you know like you and you fry bacon off in a pan, right? You use tongs. I haven't got any, I've been using a fork. <laughs> and even to like flip chips or flip burgers or something, like flipping burgers or like moving chips around and like turning them upside down. I've been using my hands. So I've been burning myself because it's hot oil. So I will be trying these out tonight when I do chips for with our dinner. Um, so thank you very much, Mum. These are like wooden handled ones and they're metal on the end. Apparently the metal ones are the best ones, according to my older brother. So there's those. So yeah, the next things are from Darren. I got quite a bit from Darren. Um, a lot of it which I asked for. And then he got me some other bits as well. So we do, we do stockings for each other. So I think I'll go through the stocking presents first. Okay, so one of the things that Darren got me in my stocking was a lot of... Well, some of it was my stocking. Um, some of it was just on... He just whipped out. <laughs> so he got me like five of these little like lint teddies. Little teddy chocolates. They're very, very cute. Um, and there's like a variety. There's like one with a green jumper. There's like ones with just plain... So he got me those. 
Um, I do like lint, it's just very expensive, I just don't buy it that often because it's so expensive. But Then he got me some Matchmakers mint ones. I am sharing these with him because I know he also likes these, so I'm going to share those. Something that I won't share because he hates peanut butter. Who hates peanut butter? Apparently him. He's got me this Reese's um, peanut butter cups um, set thing. So apparently it comes with white chocolate peanut butter cups, which I've not tried before. Um, normal peanut butter cups and then also um, this Reese's overload bar. Um, it looks like a cereal bar. It's got pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, butter, peanut butter, and peanuts covered with chocolate flavoured coating. So I've got that. And then he also got me this, um, All I Want for Christmas from Cadbury's. So this has got like a whisper, a twirl, a double decker, dairy milk bar, oh, another dairy milk bar, and a crunchy. Um, so I love chocolate, can you tell? Um, this will last me for a while because we still have like some chocolate still left over as well from like the other day and i also got darren sweets and chocolate as well so it's like there's so much <laughs> another thing i got in my stocking which i find quite funny apparently i like dad jokes and he got this from tk maxx it's a christmas cracker joke toilet roll which i don't know if i i think i will probably use it as toilet roll but it will be funny to like look at in the bathroom um so <laughs> I opened it and I was like what the hell um but there's some toilet roll um he then got me uh where is it there is um this I think it's, it's from the brand scent I get I think it's the let it glow face mask face sheet mask book it's a book um but it's got five sheet masks in it they're all like winter scented winter like themed one says cold nose warm heart and it is a soothing face mask with tea tree. Um, then this middle one, which I'm really excited for because it's a vanilla one. Uh, the Warm Winter Wishes is a nourishing one with vanilla scent, which will be quite nice. Then the Sweater Weather is my favourite weather. It's a refreshing formula with pomegranate. Um, then you've got Keep Warm and Snuggle Up. It's a relaxing formula with coconut. I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, but it's all good. Apparently it'll be good. That's what Darren said anyway. I don't think he's ever tried these, but you know. And then the Let It Snow moisturising one with ginger. So this is what the box looks like. It's a very cute little box. Um, and it has all that the ingredients on the back of it. Very, very cute, like, masks. Like, they look really cute. Um, so I got that in my stock in. And then I think this was the other thing I got in my stock in. It's the... Another thing from TK Maxx. Apparently they had some really banging gift sets. Um, and, like, little gift bits, which amazing it's this which reminds me of the tony moly like um hand creams they do it's the fruit hand cream set um and it's got um peach one and an apple one i did open this up um i think was it yesterday or the day before i think it was the day before i think it was actually christmas because i wanted to open these and smell them look how cute like i've taken like the little sticker things off but they smell really nice and they're like super super thick i'll keep these on my desk i think Oh, it's apple one literally smells like fresh apples it's so nice um and i really like peach things um my like peach scents um so he knows oh it smells really good i i think these are fucking adorable and even like the box that they it come in I just shove that like to to close it again you literally just have to like twist it wait i've already forgotten how to do it oh yeah like it's so cute i love it and then i think that was the other the last thing in the stocking was just like a shit ton of chocolate and stuff and then a couple of cute little bits and um, my camera's gonna tell me i've been talking for too long so just give me a minute okay so one thing that i i did ask for but at the same time i've been looking for it for months because i i don't know it's it's a ds game right because darren bought me my 3ds xl like this year like months and months and months ago and i haven't really played it too much i mean some of the games i have already played and finished because it was like the hannah one's hannah game i used to have and the wizard of wave place one i used to have but there was one game that i used to have that i never finished because i couldn't figure it out 
and with the other ones I had to use like a walk for a playthrough on YouTube because I couldn't freaking figure it out um, it's a kids game I couldn't figure it out but this is the Brat for real game it's the one that's based off the real life film um, which I love that film I need to actually watch that again I think uh, maybe that'll be another day I'll watch that like lunchtime um, but yeah it's it was I've been looking for it in CEX for months and months um, but they just didn't have they had it once and then they just didn't have it again and of course you can't buy brand new DS games anymore like in a shop because they don't sell them because the DS is discontinued like years ago because they came out with the switch but I still wanted to play in my DS a little bit and this one's massive like I used to have a DS Lite when I was younger um and then Darren got me the 3DS like normal one like last year 2022 around my birthday and then he bought me the big old screened one this year because that one's a bit square and it's not like it's hard to hold it this one's a bit easier to hold because it's bigger and it's like it's easier I've got really big hands okay but yeah he got me the Bratz game I played it a little bit on Christmas day but then my DS died and I spent half an hour looking for the charger and I cannot find it anywhere in this flat. It's somewhere, I just couldn't find it. So I bought a new one on Amazon. That's what came this morning. Um, was that game. <laughs> and um, there's a couple of things here that I didn't ask for. I, a lot of the things that I asked for, um, Darren did get me them for me. Which, thank you very much. Because I asked for a shit ton. I did say, don't you don't have to give me everything. Because a lot of it's like gift. Well, it's pretty much all gift sets, isn't it? I mean, it's me. Um, a lot of it's hair care, to be honest with you. Um, but there are a couple of things that um, I didn't ask for that I'm actually really grateful for. Um, so again, he he had a TK Maxx shopping spree, apparently. I love TK Maxx. I need to go back again, actually, because there's always good skincare and hair care in there. And I just, you got to go looking for it. But this is this, um, it's the Esquith and Somerset Time For You Pamper Set. It looks like this. It comes with a little headband. It's got a body scrub, which I love body scrubs. I always need body scrubs. And it also comes with three lots of bath salts. So it comes with an orange one, a lavender one, and a rose one. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of lavender, but maybe if I'm trying to calm the fuck down, it might be helpful. These are like really chunky salts. Like sometimes bath salts you buy, they're not like chunky, they're quite fine. Maybe these would be really lovely. And they've got like little bits of like, they look like the little bits of like the dried stuff inside of them. Can you see that? I don't know what the body scrub smells like. Peony, there you go. It's a floral one. Um, but yeah, that's a cute little, cute little set. TK Maxx is apparently where it's at. I do like me a TK Maxx trip. And then apparently he got this one also from TK Maxx, um, I think, well I don't know. This is the Bayless and Harding limited edition luxury pamper gift. I've never had anything from Bayless and Harding. I think I bought my mum stuff from there, but I've never personally had anything. This is so fucking heavy. Um, it's the Midnight and Fig, Midnight Fig and Pomegranate set. This is what it looks like. Um, it comes with some soap which i use soap now in the bath apparently in the shower i um, never used to be a soap girly but i am now a soap girly um then we've got a this is bath soap crystals this is what's rattling then we've got a shower cream which just it seems like a shower gel from what i've read i don't i wasn't sure then we've got an actual like body wash and then there's a bath milk and a hand and body lotion which if i'm taking a bath and i'm like using like all these products in one i'm gonna smell so good i can't i, I don't actually know what it smells like because i haven't opened it actually will it be that hard to open probably um just give me a few minutes and i'll see if i can try and open it oh actually that peeling thing wasn't that hard um this packaging is so pretty this is limited edition i've never yeah never tried anything from bayless and harding but i'm pretty sure i've got my mum's stuff from, for christmas from from them so this is what it looks like inside let me just open up the body wash and see if it's got a little thingy on it or oh, if i can take it out <laughs> very cute pack i love the colors of this packaging it's so nice oh it's got one of them things on it let me see if i can take it off a little oh that smells so good 
Oh, he did good. He didn't even know what it smelled like. He was just like, it sounded good, so I got it for you. And it smells really lovely. See, if I use the bubble bath, I use the body lotion, I use the soap, and I use the bath soap crystal thing, this would make me smell so fucking good. And again, I love the colours of the packaging. He knew that I love would love that. Um, but it's actually what he said to me, because <laughs> he knew that I'd love the scent. So I was like... Um, scent the colors the next thing he got me was some fluffy pajamas from primark because um i was i there's been i love winnie the pooh right we know that i love winnie the pooh and i love winnie the pooh pajamas pretty much all my pajamas are from primark and i'm winnie the pooh um there's only one lot that are from amazon um but they primark always have their fluffy pajamas out and there was one lot that i really wanted but they didn't have it in my size both times we went but i found these instead and i just thought i wouldn't sleep in these because i feel like i'd get too hot but if it's like cold outside and i'm lounging all day these could be my lounging pajamas rather than my sleep pajamas but this is what the top looks like it's very cute it's like blue and it's got the mon the poo and piglet and it's then got poo and piglet all over the the bottoms as well it's just very cute and they're nice and soft and they're like the fluffy like they're like the soft fluffy um pajamas which i love like darren's got some pac-man trousers um from asda that feel like that and they are like i'm just like stroking his leg i'm like oh my god they're so soft um but there's that everything else i actually asked for so i'm going to do the the last thing that isn't beauty related and then we can get on with all the other things that are beauty related because there's so many of them um i actually so you know the, the whole stanley cup thing um and everyone's getting a stanley cup um i then had on my tiktok for you page so many videos of dupes that are coming up and they were sold on tiktok um i i got darren to get me one of the dupes this is the miyok brand um apparently this is the best one it was like 20 quid i think um but i use i've been using the same starbucks cup with a, not the original straw either it's been a metal straw for the last year and a half over a year and a half because we got them me and darren got our matching one we're not matching we got ours in may when we went to last may when we went to london it, one of their starbuckses um so this is actually the first time i've actually gotten it out i i asked for the lavender one which oh this is the straw I used to set it up, but I just wanted to see what the colour was like. Um, it come, The straw has like a little a bit around the top of it so that you don't whack yourself. Because I think that's why I've got a chip in one of my teeth, my front teeth, is because of my straw. Um, ooh. I can't remember how many mils this holds. I've forgotten. But I just wanted a big bloody cup with a lit, with a, a with a big straw. Oh, this is going to keep drinks cold. Um, ah, that's how it doesn't spill, I guess. If you don't have the straw in it, it's got a little opening inside of it. I guess you poke the straw through it. It's massive. Um, it's going to, it keeps your drinks cold or hot, I think, but I'd use it for cold. And I'd literally just have it to have here. Because even with my Starbucks cup, I keep spilling water everywhere. Oh, trying to close the lid and I'm struggling, but I always struggle with lids. I keep putting it on wonky. There we go. But I got that. So how many mils is that? It's 1,182 1, mil. I don't know if I drink through all of that. Um, like I, I've got so my cups currently are 500 mil and yeah i do actually drink through it quite often um but it also goes warm quite quick so i have to drink it quite often oh yeah it says it on the bottom how much 40 fluid ounces that's massive um bloody heck so i will be getting a lot of use out of this cup i'm sure um but it's just i wanted a bigger cup anyway i was looking on amazon um but i just didn't like any of like the designs but then i saw the one with a handle and i was like oh my god and i was like oh my god you can get it in lavender and 
randomly i actually quite like lavender i like the i like the color lavender i'm not really a big fan of the scent lavender I'm trying to put this back in the found it <laughs> just trying to put it back in the thing um but yeah i've got that so i need to wash that up and give it a rinse out and then set that up for myself and um, the rest of the things i have i asked for um a lot of them are like gift sets um i did ask for a couple of perfumes one full size and then this is a mini this is because i it's so expensive to buy the full size um this is the kali like the huda beauty brand by the make their vanilla perfume it's a 10 mil um it's 25 quid though for a 10 mil like how ridiculous is that but i guess it's perfume but I've never been one to have expensive perfumes. But look, it's even like the little cute bottle of the small one. Like it's tiny. It's like the it's like the big one, but in a miniature. It's very, very cute. I sprayed the lid. Oh. It smells so good. I currently have the I have the Billie Eilish um perfume, the vanilla one, and it's so lovely, but it smells like sweets and cupcakes. Not cupcakes, but like it smells really sweet, um, like a sweet vanilla. This smells like a very grown-up vanilla, and I feel like I feel like I'd want to ask for this like as a big bottle for my birthday because I feel like I'd use this so much. Um, and then I also asked for the Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth because you can actually get this. I think it was Look Fantastic or something along them lines in the UK because of course. I mean, America get everything good, don't they? And I couldn't find it online for ages. And I was like, I can't get it. And then I actually said, Darren, I found it online in the UK. And it's in stock. It was on Black Friday. It looks so cute. This is, yeah, this is a sweet tooth one. Um, did it, sweet and sophisticated is what the packaging says anyway. Um, it was meant to be another, like, um, like sweet, like, vanilla -y kind of smell. I love sweet smells. The only thing, oh, it's so hard to get that off. Oh, it just smells really, it smells sweet, and it smells, again, smells quite grown up. Grown up. Wow, I'm 22 and I'm, I'm calling a perfume grown up. But, like, some sometimes you get, like, sweet smelling, like, sprays or perfumes, and they smell really, like, childish. Like, really, like, young teen, and I didn't want that. I wanted to smell, like, vanilla, but I also wanted to smell, like i'm not a child <laughs> so i got that thank you very much darren this one was a lot cheaper i think than the the kali one because the kali kali one's only a mini and it was 25 quid this one was like 20 quid for like this well no, it was like more like 30 but this is the really big size who's messaging me someone is this is a 75 mil size and they did do a 30 or a 50 mil as well but this is the big boy um because i knew that i'd like it and it's true i do <laughs> um and then i actually asked for i asked for a skincare item um a body care item and a makeup item and the rest is hair care because i love hair care um i'm a slut for hair care <laughs> um i actually asked for this and was a basic bitch um this is the sol de janeiro oh god I'm dropping everything today it's the bum bum summer jet set trio um i just really i had i've had the body lotion the the body cream the bum bum the boom boom cream sorry i think that's what it's called um i've had this before and really really love the smell um and it, this one comes with a little spray of it as well and a shower gel which if you want to smell properly like this scent having all three i think would be amazing um i do really like the smell of it Kinda. Ooh, that one it smells different than the actual cream, though I think. But these are only like mini sizes, and I really like the bag as well. Oh yeah, but I know every basic white girl <laughs> gets some sort of Sol de Janeiro stuff for Christmas or their birthday, or just in general. But also, it comes with a little like cute bag as well which will be really handy for like traveling with because it's see-through if you can hear the wind i apologize um but yeah it'd be really cute like little like 
um, bag for traveling with so you can see everything and I am actually going to Italy this summer um, we've got a concert in one of the festivals in July and um, we're actually seeing Room of the Horizon, Bad Omens and Youngblood all in one day all in one night which kill me I'm gonna die <laughs> I'm going to die, it's going to be so good. Um, and we're also like taking a little holiday while we're there, because of course it's Italy. It's the first time I'm ever going to be on a plane, ever going to be out of country. Um, but I need to get my passport sorted, because it's out of date by about three or four years. Um, but I know like you need, a lot of the time you need clear bags for going through like airports and stuff to make it easier. Um, like to see everything so this actually will be helpful this little bag um, I know well, it's because I wanted the products but um, my, I was just about to say the camera was going to tell me to shut the fuck up um, we are nearly there though there's a few things left I have I literally I got bought so much stuff I am very very grateful for everything I just I there's a lot here so just bear with me um, when Darren asked me originally back in September what I want for Christmas um, a lot of gift sets came to mind because I was just like, gift sets are the things that you get the most value for money out of. And like, I just thought, you know what? Gift sets are where it's at, you know? Um, I actually asked for this from Glow Recipe. It's the Smooth Skin Dreams. It's um, the Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Acid Serum, which I think is a full size. Yeah. And then it comes with a mini of their like um, Strawberry BHA smooth blur drops um i have used this serum before and i did really like it but it went out of date because i didn't use it like I, I wasn't using it um but now i know like i it's a salicylic acid serum i wasn't using salicylic acid every single time i did my skincare but recently i've been using salicylic acid in the morning as a serum um one to hydrate my skin because like well, to have an extra hydrating step because my skin's been so fucking dry with this winter um with this winter weather um, I mean, it's pissing down a rain right now. That's how wintry weather we've got in the fucking UK. Um, but also, salicylic acid to help with my... Calm my breakouts on my skin. And I've recently started an acne treatment. Um, prescribed by one of the nurses at my GP surgery. Because my hormonal acne is crazy. It was getting really bad. Um, and I was just like, quick, before it gets horrendous, I need to stop this. Like, I got... I had to cover up spots like with three layers of concealer today because it's just they weren't covering um but yeah i've been incorporating a salicylic acid serum in the morning the one that i was using though i think was too strong um but this one i think is a bit more hydrating i think um yep helps to soothe decongest leaving skin feeling calm comfortable and clear um the blurring drops i want to try though i think they'll be good like before makeup um but when i when this set came out i think it was quite a new product so i haven't of course i haven't tried it but it's just very very cute little strawberry set i love glow recipe products um so there's that and then i got this little trio from say is that what it's called um, I have now tried one of their blushes. It was It's the spicy one. I've actually got it on today as my only... I don't have any bronzer. I literally just have a bit of blush and a bit of highlighter. Um, I don't know if you can probably can't see. I'm so washed out now that I've turned on the wall lights. But if I didn't have the lights on, you can't see anything. So there's that. But this is a mini dew blush trio. I think my makeup bag's actually right here. Cause I got ready on the sofa today because I'm lazy. Um, where is the blush i wanted to show you like the full size and oh, here it is and i haven't gotten the minis out yet but this is a full size right <laughs> the minis are like this they're so cute um but they're shades that i one's one that i really actually two i'd really want to try and then one's actually part of that like pink like everyone was doing like really pink barbie cheeks and stuff over summer like because of the barbie film um so you get these shades where are they the shades on here uh why does it not tell you that's a bit annoying that it doesn't tell you i thought it told you um oh um rosy chili and then it's a limited edition one called baby so i think it's rosy and chili and then this is baby um so baby's actually a limited edition color um but very very cute um 
I don't go through full size blushes so it's good to have the minis I could try out all the colours um but yeah I've got that and then the rest is hair care so the next one's actually a hair care set um I have then a set that I asked for well they sold it in a set and they are technically a set um and then I actually have a box <laughs> Um, this is the Fable and Main Healthy Hair Hero set, Strength and Soothe and Shine. Um, I actually tried out the oil, The I had like a mini oil and I only recently finished it up but I actually really liked it. I have got another mini to use up though, like get from like hair care boxes and one was from an advent calendar, one was from a cult beauty bag or something. Um, but this has got the Holly Roots Hair Oil which is the one that I've tried, which is I think the full size one then you've got the um winter ginger purifying scrub oh i thought it was a mask it's a scrub um like a little scalp scrub which would be quite nice i do like a scalp scrub so and i was actually going to buy one but i don't need to now and then the um smooth and shine hair oil which is just like for the ends of your hair it's like rattling um i love yeah like i said i love the oil the the scalp oil um so i'm, I'm very intrigued to try the other two products, yeah, the, the, the hair oil, the Roots one is a full size, the other two are minis. Um, but a very, very cute little set. And then I asked for this set from, this was actually from Amazon, because at the time, Boots didn't carry this brand, but now Boots do. It's the Redkin Acidic Bonding Concentrate line. There is a pre-wash -treat, pre treatment, but I don't need it. I use oil a lot of the time, or I use other products. Um, and then there's now, like, um, a hair mask, there's now other products, but... I just got the shampoo conditioner and the leave-in treatment. Um, AKA Aislinn raves about not uh, yeah. AKA Ray Aislinn raves about this shampoo and conditioner set, and also Abby Young really likes it. And I trust I trust Abby Young with her hair care recommendations. But also Aislinn, who has really damaged hair because she bleaches it all the time, she dyes it, she bleaches it. Um, really likes this as well. And Redkin's a really expensive brand. <laughs> I think these are like. 30 quid each maybe nearly pretty much um so yeah i got the shampoo conditioner and the um the leave-in treatment like i said i don't actually use um i don't really use like pre-wash bond repair treatments anymore i still have got a bottle of olaplex somewhere and i think i've got other things but i've been oiling my hair rather than using like um a bomb repair treatment before having a bath or like washing my hair um but yeah these are going to be really good and i am actually planning on removing this brown hair dye and dyeing it blonde again next year um my hair would have had a break for about 13 to 14 months of not bleaching my hair well it'll be about a year actually because i bleached it back in march didn't i but i will have i've had i've had brown hair for a year now um, and it's getting a little bit boring. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've liked having the brown because I think it suits me quite well. But I also look back at pictures of me blonde and I'm like, I suited being blonde as well. So I really want to go back blonde. I could always go back brown if I really want to. Like, I know which products I like. So I could always go back. But there will be videos of me bleaching my hair, I am sure, and removing my hair dye. So I think I'm... I think I'm colouring it one more time before I see Bring the Horizon in January and then I'm not dyeing my hair with brown anymore. I'm literally, that's the last time I'm going to dye it brown, so for a while. And the last thing, last but not least, is this box from Beauty Bay. Um, again, when I was prowling the internet for things that I wanted, this, this box had quite a few products that either I wanted to try or that I actually already have had before and really loved. So this is the Hair Care Heroes box. It looks like this. I love when they do boxes like this. Even like Cult Beauty. You know that. I call them all the time. Looks like this. Opens up like this. Um, and it has some really nice brands in it. Um, it has got. It has actually got their own brand in here. It's got a few things from their own brand. Um, one of which I have tried before. It's the um, detangling like and protect mist I'm currently using that it's got a scalp exfoliating a scalp serum it's the exfoliating one i think you put this on yeah before washing your hair and sometimes my hair like i do oil my scalp right i do oil my hair in my scalp but sometimes i don't oil my scalp um 
and then if I leave that for a while, like if I don't wa do not do it for a few like washes or a few weeks, my scalp then gets really irritated and annoyed with me. Um, and I feel like I need to use a scalp scrub or like something to get off the horrible shit. Even though I use a clarifying shampoo, it like still is there. So this would actually be really nice. Um, and then I actually, it's actually got the hair oil, the nourish and fiber repair, hyaluronic acid and castor oil hair oil. Um, you can use this overnight and post wash um, and like use it for styling. So that's really good. My, currently my Olaplex, Number six and number seven, the leave-in treatment and the oil are running out. So I think this will probably be my new combination. Um, then it actually does come with the Olaplex number eight hair mask, the Bond Repair, the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I have used this before. It's not my favourite in the world, but it's actually really nice. And I think I will save this for when my hair is going to be damaged again because of the freaking bleach. And then it has this mini No Not Co... Um, the mini detangler, which I thought it was going to be a full size, but actually it's a mini. This will be really good for travelling and stuff like that and like going away. Because I don't actually have a small brush. I just take my normal brush with me. Um, but actually, if this works really, like it's meant to be quite flexible. If it works really well for detangling. Oh, my hair is actually quite knotty right now. So that's actually working really well. If this works really well... I may have to use this as my brush that I take with me places because that is actually really nice. Um, I did brush my hair before I put it up, like to, to put it up as well, but it's gotten tangled since. And like, I can feel that it's tangled, but it's like quite, it's gliding through my hair really easily. I'm quite impressed. Um, I use like my normal like tangle teaser brushes and stuff, um, which is probably not the right thing anymore for my hair. But I think you can use it on, it's, oh, it's got like, it's for all hair types. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, travel size, pain free, and less shedding. It also has like pictures of all the hair types on the back of it. I don't think you can probably see that, but there's that. I need to sh hurry up and finish talking. It's got a a mini of the um, Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, which I already have a big pot of, and another travel size version. This is like a mini mini. Um, I need to get on and use it because it's apparently a hair mask. I didn't know it's a hair mask. I thought it was just a hair treatment. It's a treatment mask. It helps to add moisture, I think. Deep conditioning treatment. There you go. Um, so I actually need to use that as my hair mask when my current one runs out. Um, so there's that. Then we've got a mini of the... Oh, that was my Xbox. I forgot that I left that on. Um, the Josh Wood Colour Miracle Mask. It's another mini. Um, I've never tried anything from Josh Wood Colour before. Very intrigued to try it. It helps to deep condition locking hair gloss no the color locking hair glossing deep conditioning mask for every hair color they do have hair color mask gloss things as well um i've not tried but i'm intrigued by it. they're like 19 pounds though um but i mean currently with my brown hair i've been using like clairol gloss up and stuff so it's not like that's my favorite then there's actually some of these this is the hair burst healthy hair vitamins it's a 30 day supply i forgot these were even in here in this box to be honest with you um but they're not the gummies but they're the um the the normal ones like the supplement ones the the normal vitamins um so yeah there's that which it, do you want me to do a video I'll be happy to do a video if you want. And the last, oh no, I'm about to say the last thing. The last two things in this box, we have got the Fable and Main um, um, Saha Scalp Amla Smooth uh, Soothing Serum. Is this for your scalp? Oh, it is a scalp one. Oh. Oh, you can put this on before you wash your hair as well. It's also a really pretty colour. It's like a purpley colour. Um, I thought this was like for your ends of your hair, but actually, oh, you, I think you can probably use it to your ends as well. Oh, at least five minutes or overnight. You could probably, I could probably end up putting this on when my hair is also very like needs a soothe. Um, and then the last thing is this um, Answear Flyaway and Brow Control Styling Gel thing that you can put like on your flyaways. I might take this away with me when I for when I do my hair for my concerts and stuff, so that I, my flyaway stay down. Um, rather than using it like all the time, like I don't care about my hair all the time at the moment. Like I'm just like, yep, fly away, have it, it's fine. Um, but it's like um, a gel that you can take, like you can take on the go and stuff. Like it's quite thin, so that would be quite good to take away with me actually. 
I might do that. Oh, get back in the box, mate. Come on. Come on. I just want to get back in the box. There we go. Got back in the box. And that is everything that I got for Christmas, which I'm surrounded by so much here. I got truly, well and truly spoiled by Darren um, and my mum. And my secret Santa present was really nice as well. And I could probably end up taking one of them away with me too. But just, I've already thanked my mum and Darren. And the seat, I don't know who my secret Santa was, but we put messages in the group chat. Um, like saying thank you so yeah thank you guys for watching this video i'm sure it was a lot longer than i thought it was because i didn't expect to get as much as i did um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next well i've got a couple more i think i've got one more video up and one more video for you guys before the end of the year if not two if not i will see you guys in the new year so bye guys